Okay, Monday morning in the kingdom, and there's no breeze. There's a slight breeze. I untangled the flags yesterday. They were tangled up, or this morning they were tangled up. So they had a stressful day yesterday, just like us. It was all lies. Yes, they say they're going to turn the power off, and they never did. Oh, the lies. And then the weather network lied. They said heavy rains last night, so I went to the wilderness, Alaska and northern Manitoba to clean up some scrap metal or get ready. For what? It didn't rain. Unreal. So this morning we woke up to plus 14, but feels like plus 13. All right, you know what's going to happen next. All right, plus 57 on the yo-yo scale but feels like plus 55 so there is always two positive numbers there yes it is a monday and we have a positive number 57 plus 55 chevy's good cars and trucks of the years yes oh the memories but no rain so here we are rushing to get things done and no rain all right let's scroll this way so we didn't even have to use the welder. So we went to all that time and effort to put the welder in the little wagon or the trailer for what? Nothing. So I can learn how to string out my extension cords and roll them up, you know? And then of course the government hydro website doesn't say, oh, the people of Whoville, we didn't turn your power off. So please enjoy your Sunday. Open your business so you can buy beer and ice cream and gas and stuff like that. But nope. They even on their website said we had no power. Oh, the lies. The lies. This is the new world. Nobody cares. There's no customer service. There's nothing. That's what they, that's what they want. Just struggle along. All right, let's scroll a bit more. Those are icky skies, but no rain. Unreal. So today the staff and I are starting early because we want to get that scrap out of the bush because... We could get a million views if we went into the bush with it raining and we got the quad stuck and you had to get the cat out to pull the quad out and then the cat got stuck and all that. Oh wait, that's a country western song. But we're not like that. We want to get in and out and not make a mess. Yes, we don't care about the ratings. We're happy with our ratings. We're having interaction with our YouTube subscribers or kingdom followers. We like that. Okay, this is the learning tra channel. Not the drama channel, yes. Mm, oh, my lips are wet today. I don't know what's the matter with me. It might have been the vodka last night because I was hurting. Oh, with all that work and riding that hoe. Yes, then the shop looks good. The new shop or what used to be the new shop looks good. So the staff and I got a big day planned today, which was totally unplanned because it's not raining. Yes, we planned everything and rushed because it's going to rain and then there's no rain. Oh, well. Okay, we did the full revolution. Yeah, rotation, not revolution. All right, rotation. All right, we did the full rotation. There we are, back at the start. All right, I better go. Here comes the boss. Monday morning in Whoville. There was no power outage last night. Not sure what was going on there, but that's okay. It looks like it's going to rain today, so I'm getting ready to head over to the kingdom. I just got to make some fry bread after I'm done breakfast here. We're going to go pick up some scrap and a few other things in the yard before it rains here, so hopefully we can get that done. Now it's time to head inside and make breakfast. After breakfast, and I got the Chicago fry bread done for the dogs in the kingdom. I also have chicken for my dad's supper tonight. I got the dog treat cups that I got to bring back so they can be reused, and a lasagna so he can have it for lunch. Now it's time to pack all this up, get the quad out, and head on over to the kingdom and see what we're doing this morning. Made it to the kingdom. Looks like we have a few things on the list to do before it rains. The first thing we are going to do is go down to the scrap at the bypass and pick all that stuff up. It is getting pretty windy out here and it's supposed to rain today, so we better get going. Okay, 10 o'clock in the kingdom and the staff is sober. We're going to start off when we got that scrap because it looks like it's going to rain today. It's all lies and lies. But look at the flags. We could have had a parade today. Oh, yes, the parade. That's bad word I always seem to say. All right, let's go to the wilderness, Alaska, but in northern Manitoba. All hooked up and ready to go, taking the two quads out to the bypass to pick up all the scrap and debris that was left over there. My dad went and cleaned it up yesterday, so let's get going.
made it down to the bypass and the sand flies are pretty bad in here as my dad was picking away look what he found an old apple juice can look at this this guy is really old and i'm surprised he can actually still make it out there i better get over there and start helping him as we're cleaning up the bypass we pulled up a bunch of newspapers here this looks like a cookbook you can kind of see the word cooking there and i'm trying to find a date on one of these so i can figure out when this is from but if you read it here you can still make it out all the pages are put together as well i'll try and pull them apart here but look at that you can still read all of it that's in here that's pretty cool so i'm going to dig away here and try and find a date on one of these pieces of paper look at all that writing you can even see some prices on a few of them here you can see 25 cents right there there's a lot of stuff on here you can completely read this clear as day look at that and we also found another one here I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that but i think that says something democrats win seat something alberta Hmm. Huh. i am determined to find a date for this because that's really cool look at all this it has to be like a full newspaper here. As I'm searching through all the newspaper here, trying to look for a date, I came across this one here, 1967. This looks to be like a farm book or something like that, because look, farm costs here. We got some farm stuff over there. I'm not sure if this is the actual date of it or if it's just something to do with it, but 1967, that is still pretty good. I'm going to look around for a few more minutes to see if I can find something else and then get back to work found another date here this one says people's credit 1966 you can kind of see a birthday hat there or something circusy and then when you flip this page over if you keep reading down in here not sure if you'll be able to see it but it says circus in here somewhere and there's a bunch of reading that you can make out clear as day so we're going to put this one aside and continue looking okay we got a spare rim for this long trailer six bolt rim that's rare. Very fancy too, and it's in oh, good condition yeah. as well. Put it off to the side. Looks like my dad found something big in the bush over there. Can't really see him because of how dense the trees are, but he'll be coming out here in a second. You can hear him. I wonder what he found. Oh, you found a washing machine. I'll have to get a better video once I walk over there for you guys. I wonder if there's still a load of laundry in there. I don't think so. And then we also got a chimney pipe over there as well and a few other odds and ends. I'll keep looking through these papers because I'm sure I can find something else. As I'm searching through all these papers here, I find a front of a magazine. I wish there was a date on here, but I'll keep looking. As you can see, it says 15 cents right there. No way it cost 15 cents for this little magazine. Wow, back in the day, things were quite different. Look what else we found. This is a pretty big jar. I'm not sure if that's the original liquid in there. I'd hope not, but the lid's still on it. You can't really make out what it says on there. All you can see is the S. And then we also found another bottle here. This is a Coca-Cola. Ooh, I'm going to add that to my collection. And we also got another kettle. Oh, no, never mind. This is a pot. We got a little pot. It looked like the old kettles that we were finding in the bush, but this is a pot. Got the first quad loaded, now it's time to load the wood trailer here and then head on back up into the kingdom. These sand flies are bad, look at these. I'll give you guys a better look here. They are just swarming us in here. Now I guess I better get over there and help them. Okay, the bugs are unreal. I don't think we're going to have lunch today because I think we've eaten enough bugs. But we're getting it all in one trip out of here. But we did it correctly. We brought the right tools for the job and hopefully we make it out before it rains.
Holy man, these sand flies are so bad. Look at this. I have to put my hood up and my bug net. My dad's getting eaten alive as well, so let's get back to the kingdom. made it back into the kingdom and down at the scrap pile everything you see on the front here all the vehicle parts and all that metal and that that's everything that we cleaned up off the trails this summer we've done a lot so far and there's still lots more to do and now we're going to unload these guys and head back up into the house that's a lot that we took out of the bush even that frame up there that was in one of the videos we did too all this metal came off the muskeg here that's a lot of stuff Okay, lunchtime in the kingdom. We're doing a bunch of loose ends. We got to get ready for winter, which could be next week. And look at the flags. Calm as can be, but there's, we can't have a parade today. There's too many sand flies. I don't know how many I ate this morning, but that's annoying. In the wilderness there, it was like raindrops hitting your face with those sand flies. On freaking real. But we did it and handled it without dramas because we're well prepared. All right, let's go have some lunch and get back to work. Lunchtime and I just got back from loading the cart in Whoville here because we got to pay our Starlink. Wasn't able to load it on Saturday because it was closed, but thankfully they were there today. So I was able to load it when I head on back to the kingdom. I can pay for the Starlink because we can't go without that. Don't need them cutting us off. Now it's time to head inside and make lunch and let the dogs out. After lunch and I made it to the kingdom, now it's time to head down into the back of the yard there and get that green shed cleaned out with all those hoses. Down at the back of the kingdom here, going to take all the hoses out of this green shed and so we can move this up to the shop so my dad can work on this because this will be our little hunting shed. Now it's time to get all these hoses and put them into there so I can haul them into the boxcar. That didn't take long at all. We basically got the shed cleared out. We just have this last little bit here, but to get that out, we have to move all this. As you can see here, there's a lot in there already that I have to go through and sort in the boxcar. That didn't take long at all and I got the rest of the hoses picked up. My dad took the green shed up to the shop there as you can see off into the distance. Now it's time for me to pull out of here and go up to the boxcar and start sorting these. Back up at the shop now. My dad pulled the mini out so he can move this pipe over here that broke off in the midst of us moving it in the winter time here. Just kind of snapped off. As you can see right there, completely snapped in half. And even on the other side over here, that one snapped off too, so he's going to have to weld them back together.
And I think he's taking the door off as well because we don't really need that in the bush. Okay, once again the boss is an asshole. At lunchtime he was drinking too much or something and all of a sudden he decides we're going to take this green storage shed and make it into something for hunting, I guess. I'm not sure what he's doing. But the thing is, we have a problem. It's been in the kingdom for 24 years, 25 years. And whoever made, put these Mickey Mouse skids under used cast iron pipe, like water pipe, okay? So what I did was I had all my hydraulic hoses and everything in it over the years. So now we're just gonna make some skids, a temporary skids right here. So that pipe is 10, 20 feet, uh, four, eight inches long. So now the skids are gonna be 10 feet, four inches. We're not gonna waste time cutting more, more than we need. So also too, this will work out good. So that way we can uh, chase down the rabbit. Hey, okay? didn't that look pretty neat? Look at that. So now we can hide in here. What do they call those, those things? Hunting blinds? Yeah. So this is green. That's what the staff told me. It's always been known as the green shed. So then we'll be able to hide in here and hunt rabbits, I guess. Yeah, just like everybody else is getting ready for hunting season. So we're getting ready too. Got the pipes underneath and all lined up as you can see here. Now my dad can weld them all together and hopefully these ones don't snap off. We also have the ladder off to the side there, which we're gonna put up on the top just offset here so we can still get underneath in, warm in the winter time. Coffee time now and I'm almost done with the hoses. We're just gonna lay them out like this for now because we still have to go through them all anyway So it doesn't matter how I lay them down We're gonna have to move them again at least this way They're all in the one direction so we can sort through the pile and go downwards now. Let's continue. I'm almost done That didn't take long at all and I got the last of the hoses into the box car here They will have to be properly sorted out Of course we have to go through and figure out which ones we're keeping and which ones we're throwing away Because some of these guys are good and some of them aren't but we can do that on a rainy or snowy day Now let's see if we can get the ladder up onto the side of the green tank here It's a pretty heavy ladder else we would have put it up there by ourselves Good thing we have the mini to do this well, we got it up there. As you can see, it didn't take very long. Good thing we have the mini. Now my dad can weld it up to the side here and onto the bottom. That way it doesn't move or fall off when we climb up and down it. All right, we got the ladder up and I didn't fall on my way up here. My dad's at the bottom there making sure I don't fall on the way back down. Now we have to figure out a piping system and a railing to go around all of this. That way you don't fall off and break your neck at the end of the day. You never know, you could be drunk trying to climb down these, this ladder, right? Last thing you want to do is be too drunk and you can't get back down and you end up being stuck up here. It is a quite nice view. As you can see, you can almost see all the way across the trees and over the kingdom too. Look at this. It's not very fall anymore. All the leaves have blown off the trees now and it's just turning into the ugly fall part. At least winter will be coming. Now I have to figure out the distance between here and the first post because when I'm climbing up and down the ladder I have to squeeze in between here with my skidoo suit on, my bags and all my filming stuff so I gotta measure. I'm thinking about 16 inches or so that's just enough room to get through plus we gotta cut the top off of this ladder because that's way too high so I marked it where it's gonna get cut. Got the ladder all welded into place here. It looks a lot better. As you can see, we're going to cut the top off too because that's way too high. Now my dad's going to come with the loader and lift it up so we can put it on these blocks so my dad can finish welding it. Got my dog treats in the bag here plus my supper. Now it's time to head on back into Whoville. Kind of smoky here right now, but that's okay. It's been like that the last couple days with all these forest fires all over the place. The sun seems to be trying to come out as well, even though it's supposed to rain. That's what it says on the weather network anyways, but you know that's all lies. Now let's head back into Whoville. Supper time and I just got back from the kingdom. This is the weather we're sitting at today. It's 22 degrees Celsius, which is 71 degrees Fahrenheit, but it feels a lot chillier than that. I actually had my sweater on all day while working in the yard. As you can see off into the distance, it looks like some rain clouds are rolling in, which is good because we need that. It's actually really dry here still, so that's not good. Hopefully it's just rain and not a thunderstorm too. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out, make supper, and end my day. Okay, 7 o'clock and we're done for the day. We got the skids all welded on the bottom here. We got the inside cleaned out and the ladders welded at the top. So now I can climb up there. It was scary for a guy my age climbing up there. All right. So the best part I like about this whole thing, the fellow who put the skids under originally, I don't know what he was thinking, 
he ran vertical uprights. So all he did was create a hinge for the pipe. So the pipe could sit here, oops, and twist and turn. I put mine here like that, and that's just scrap pieces of material. In fact, that's the corners from the art, our artificial thumb. They were laying on the workbench, so I just put them on there. And now the pipe will have a hard time to twist, okay? That's what we want. I don't know. Whoever built this tank into a shed or whatever it is, the guy wasn't thinking and he couldn't weld either. But oh well, not my problem because we can now have a hunting blind so we can go catch our chase down rabbits like Elmer Fudd. So here's the front. This is the hitch. The angle iron on there was pre-bent. That way we don't have to bend it anymore or we can bend it more. But the main thing is we just put a chain around the angle iron right here and then we can give it a pull. Okay, so that's how we do it. So then when you chain it right, you're pulling, it lifts up. All right, so look at all the salvage we got off of this. This is a pretty good day. So we got some screen, we got some mesh, we got some bolts uh, we can use for, uh, how do you say, wall anchors or it's for hanging stuff, okay? And we got the pipes that we're holding up the shelves inside or whatever with the hydraulic hoses. I recut them here. So this will be the fence around the top. The staff is going to put a fence around the top at 31 inches. That way, if you slip and fall, it gives you a good flip off. So the thought of just sliding off the top of the tank, you know, when you see your game or the wild animal you want to shoot, she figures we should have this uh, 31 inches. That way you get a flip when you hit the ground. All right, let's go check on the flags. Okay, just about seven o'clock. Look at the skies. It cleared off for the end of the day and they were forecasting rain for tonight. Oh my goodness, what a bunch of guys, eh? Oh, the lies, like my marriage. Also too, that's the worst I've ever seen. The sand flies today when we were in the wilderness there and they're bouncing off my face as if they were raindrops, okay? So this product here is off. I think we need the F off for these sand flies. Like they're unreal. They're swarming around me. I'm going to eat a few as I chat away here. I don't know if this is the mating spray for them that attracts them. I'm freaking real. But we need the F off because this didn't work today. It attracted them. Just look at the flags looking good with the sunset. All right, let's go walk the dogs, drink some beer, make a video and regroup and see what the asshole boss has us doing for tomorrow. This was unreal building a hunting blind at the last minute. All right, talk to you later.